Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And the title of this video is called Getting Stuffed. Because on yesterday, I took on the challenge of getting stuffed. So, let's play catch up. There was um, a conversation going on in my ladies group um the ash Rhonda page okay so one lady made the comment that she enjoys it when he inserts his penis and follows up by inserting his balls she likes to get stuffed and i was like hold on a minute now because i didn't i didn't seen a lot of things i done heard a lot of things I didn't witness a lot of things. I'm not a person that just watch porn, but a lot of times when I do look at it, it's for educational purposes to try to see, you know, what the trends and stuff like that is. But I've never been a person that just really just watched a lot, a lot of porn. That just it just never was my thing. I don't know. I don't have an issue with it. It's just not anything that I that I do on a regular basis. So I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So wait a minute. It's 2021. This is what we doing right now. Like in 2021, not only are we taking a dick, but we getting balls put in too. Okay, how is this possible? Let me do some research. Let me see what I can find out about this. So I asked the woman because I had to sit up there and think. And I had to really think about the male anatomy. Okay. I've been getting dick a long time. But I have never, ever thought about getting the balls put in after the dick so i was like you know what this has really gotten my attention but how i'm gonna get these big ass balls inside of me so that was the question that i put on the page like what do how y'all feel about big balls because i'm just trying to because at this point my mind is kind of it's kind of racing like and when i get creative that's normally what happens my mind gets the racing so Everybody got to talking about how they enjoy the big balls, but they enjoy the big balls because they like the balls to slap up against the pussy and the clit and all this kind of stuff. So for them, them enjoying the big balls had everything to do with the, the hitting and the flopping and all of this, right? Cool. So I said, well, let me do what I do and let me go and research this and watch some porn. I decided to put on some porn and I was thoroughly disappointed. Because all of the men that I saw doing the stuffing were men who had balls that was almost connected to their shaft. And it was like the scrotum, the, the, the shaft and the balls was all one. So it's like when you inserting your nuts inside, it was almost like a part of the, the dick. It wasn't the, the type of nuts that I'm used to looking at. See, I have to always keep it 100. Most of my following that watches this YouTube channel who's on this Facebook group, most of us are black people and the, the, the men that I have seen with black men with nuts, they nuts hang like, and some of them nuts is bigger than others. But what my point is, they hang, they nuts is not like attached to them. So I was just like, this, this can't be no, like, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to figure it out. So my husband, it was around three o'clock. He decided to come in uh, from work. And when he came in from work, he was like, you know, rubbing and touching like he do. And I was like, let me tell you what I want to do. And he was like, what you want to do? I was like, I want to get stuffed. He was like, get stuffed? Like, okay, I already stuffed you with dick. I was like, no, no, no. I not only want to get stuffed with dick, but I want you to put your balls in there too. He said, where the fuck you didn't heard of this shit from? I say the young girls in the group, the, the young women say that the men uh balls could go in there too so then i i even went back to the to the conversation and the girl explained it to me she said auntie sharonda the reason the balls could go in is because the balls be hard they be hard see the thing is um <laughs> it been a, it, a lot of times they ain't been got none in a long time so they they be full they be full and i said well shit that's the problem right there for me Cause I'm constantly emptying these motherfucking sacks. So that means that they ain't never hard and full to what to where all this shit able to uh, get close to his body like that. Cause my I was always told to try to keep the damn nut sack empty. Okay, so we goes on and we lube up and do all that we normally do. 
So of course he, he got the dick in. So he decides that, okay, let's try to work this, these balls out one ball at a time. <laughs> epic fail, epic fail, epic fail, epic fail. Y'all, he was in so much pain. He was like, oh, like when he was pulling them balls together to try to gather them to put them away, he was like, oh, <laughs> oh, wait. He was like, oh, wait, uh-uh, we can't do this here. We got to leave that shit to them young people. That, that's for them young churn. And I say, you know what? I think you're right. I think it is for them young churn. Because them, them young churn, they be off into all kind of shit these days. They trying all kind of shit. And I say, well, you know what? I'm just going to keep on stuffing, stuffing them balls in my mouth. How about that? That's how we. That's how I'm gonna stuff these balls because trying to put them balls up inside of me along with the dick, y'all, it just did not work. And my husband was in pain, y'all. He said that it was equivalent to somebody literally kicking him in his nutsack, and it it gave a pain to his stomach. He said he would compare it probably like how we experience cramps. That is exactly what he felt when he grabbed his nuts and tried to pull them together to put them inside of me. He experienced like a major cramp because he was like, oh, I was like, oh, sh oh, shit. Wait, what we done done? <laughs> so, y'all, that is my uh, review on this whole getting stuff. For those of y'all that do it and enjoy it, more power to you. But the Parkers have... Um, we figured out, because one thing about it, we don't mind trying this stuff. We love to try this stuff. We know that, you know what, this this one here, that, this one ain't for us. Mm -mm, baby, this ain't for the 40 plus club, because them nuts is hanging by now. They is not close up to the body, and um, we is emptying the nut sex and all this. We ain't giving them a chance to get full. There's just a lot of shit that's going on in the 40 plus club, and that one that just ain't for us, okay? All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is I just got an email and normally when I get an email from the FDA, it is because they have found, uh, put certain products in the lab, and normally Viagra is always suing companies because Viagra has a certain medical ingredient, right? So they're always suing companies for stealing their ingredients. Well, Viagra says that the Gold Line Honey has their active ingredient in it. So what I know being in this industry for a long period of time is I ain't going to be able to get this no more. I ain't going to be able to get it no more. And I'm going to have to go ahead and get up off of it because eventually they're going to say that you can't sell it. You're not going to be able to carry it. So with that being said, I need you to check your email. If you have not checked your email, you need to do so because there is a link to where you can get three of these for $20. Three gold line honeys for men for $20. Or you could come to the store and you could get the three for $20, okay? But the sale is in-store online, three for $20, all right? I just want to make sure that everybody knows the reason why is because Viagra has basically said that y'all stole my shit. And I, I, now that I've improved that you stole my shit, now I'm about to take you to court so that you can stop manufacturing it. When that happens, it makes it hard for vendors like, you know, store owners, people like me, it makes it hard for us to be able to get it. I got like 30 boxes of these, like seriously. Like I have a whole warehouse stocked up with nothing but honey. So we're good, meaning that you're gonna be able to get it. But the thing is at some point they may tell me that I have to stop selling it. So get it while they're getting this good. Cause you know these is $20 a pack. So I'm doing three packs for $20. Come on now, y'all know that is like almost unheard of. All right, you all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. If you have not subscribed to my website please do so i'm actually sending out my uh emails now at one point i was paying somebody i'm still working with her but the emails i'm sending them out so that means that i'm able to give them the personal touch that i want to give them so that it's like i'm talking directly to you so make sure you subscribe it's www.dppgstore.com scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says don't miss a thing put your email address in and subscribe Everybody say they love what I do. Thank you so much. I, you know, we support what you do. You support me by subscribing to my emails. You support me by subscribing to my YouTube. And of course, I'm always grateful for people who make purchases. But even if you're just sharing the video, that is supporting me. I'm greatly appreciative of it. Um, Monday, we're going to continue on with our communication series. Um, 
Monday, we're going to actually be talking about nonverbal communication. Okay. That's going to be real big because when I was doing my, uh, I, I have wives to deliver Sunday for the rest of this month. But when I was talking to my wives, they were saying that they have this thing called arresting bitch face or whatever. And it's this nonverbal communication. Or if you saying something, they like them and I say anything back, but they face kind of tell a story. So we're going to talk about that nonverbal communication. Okay. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your weekend and make sure you come and take advantage of this sale on this mail, honey, because let me tell you something. See, when men start getting a certain age, their bodies start changing. And a lot of times men are not going to just come to you and say, you know, I see that I'm going through certain changes. Sometimes we have to be the one that say, baby, look, let's try something because I know we both going through changes. In other words, you ain't putting it on them saying, oh, look, it ain't it ain't working like it used to. You, you softening that up. See, that's a part of being, being a feminine woman. We soften it up and we say, baby, we both going through changes. Come on, let's try something. That's how they go. All right. You all be blessed. Enjoy your day. Happy Friday.